Well, what's going on YouTube fam? We're we'll gonna give you guys a quick comparison between the Shatter Backboard and the Yellow Toe or Taxi Ones. Uh, before I go over the review and the, and the comparison really quick, if you're new to the channel, thanks for dropping by. Uh, while you hit subscribe, hit the notification button for me. Uh, if you're on social media or anything like that, give me a follow. You can find me at IMTMCII. And if you enjoy this video, comparison videos, videos like this, hit the thumbs up. Uh, let me know and I'll just continue to make more videos like this for you guys. So now that that's out the way, uh, let's just dive right into it. So when these initially came out and pictures started to surface, I started seeing some uh, comments and people saying that it's really comparable to your shattered backboards as far as uh, leather material and quality. And I just wanted to give you guys a good look and show you guys that it's it's close um, and just point out some of the differences I see. So with the yellow toes look like the perforations on the toe, you have much bigger holes on here. Uh, there's one little difference that I've seen in the, just the toe shape itself is a little bit more round, whereas on the shadow backboards, it come more into a point. So that's just like overall look of the shoe, like some of the main things I noticed. But far as material goes, the leather on here on the yellow toes or taxi ones is not bad at all. You guys can see this tumbled leather on here. Uh, it's a really good grain. Uh, it's not that, it doesn't feel stiff and synthetic and cheap like some of the other stuff we get. I'm not sure uh, what it is, but um, I feel like they went with a really nice grain of leather on here. It's not this. This is this leather does still feels a little bit more plush and premium. And I don't know if it's maybe because of the type of paint and finish they have on here um, or what, but to the feel, this one just, the, the it feels like it's a little bit more thick and just a better grain of leather. This one isn't bad by any means. I'm not saying that it's bad. Uh, I just feel like it's not as good as how thick this leather is on here. This one just feel really thick and have a different feel texture wise to it. Even the thickness of the leather that they use around here. So you can see how thick this leather is, this cut going around for the black part. And it just seems like, um, you know, maybe they have more of a thicker grain of leather going around here. Whereas the toe cap on a shadow backboards, it, it doesn't seem as thick. Um, and that's at a glance. I'm not sure if you guys can see a difference. It looked like maybe we may have some thicker leather going around the toe cap on the yellow toes versus what we have on the shadow backboards. I'm not sure if you guys can really see that, how thick this cut is of the black here versus how thick the cut is on here. It's me, it's just, and from a glance, it looked like this one's maybe a little bit more thicker. Uh, coming to the, the feel of the black leather on here, um, these actually even feel a little bit more softer than the shadow backboard. So this leather feels a little soft and this one feels a little bit more of that, uh, kind of like that, that, that synthetic stiff feel almost. It's not super stiff, but it doesn't feel, um, you know, quite as soft as the leather on the, the black part for here. Um, that is something that I do notice that's a little bit different. Coming over to the side paneling where the white is. So this is definitely a difference. This leather here on the um, yellow toes or taxis, it looks like it's a nice grain of leather, but it doesn't feel anywhere as soft and plush and, and as thick as this does. This feel like a really thick leather that they used on the, on the white. But on here, this feels like, uh, this feel like it might be a little bit of that, that cheap leather and they just put like some uh, textured, uh, tumbled feel to it. Uh, it definitely doesn't feel as thick and as uh, plush as this do. This feels like a really, soft good grain of leather and it just doesn't feel quite the same um and i'm trying to see maybe you can see that so looking and you can so if you look at the thickness of the white right here you can see how thick this white is on the yellow toe versus how thick the white is on a shadow backboard so they use a real thick grain on the white for the shadow backboards uh, coming to the, uh, the ankle area, the thickness of the leather you have for the yellow toes. It's a decent thickness of cut of leather you have on here. And it just seems like the shattered backboard around the ankle, just slightly thicker than what you have uh, on the yellow toes in a taxi. So 
Overall, I still think the Shadow Back Void leather materials are better. Um, I still think the, the best leather quality, obviously, is the OGs. And then you have the, the actual true band uh, bread ones that came like came out like in 2011 that only made it to outlets. That's to have like some of the best retro leather ever. Then these would be next in line. And these probably a contender for right after that. The material's really nice on here. Uh, I really won't lie. Um, it's, it's not this, but it's, it's definitely not the cheap stuff we get sometimes on Dunks and some of the other Jones ones. So just a little, quick little comparison video. Just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I saw and noticed. Um, giving you guys good looks of the different materials and how they compare against each other. Cause like I said, you know, people made some comments and uh, you know, there are some talks out there that these are really good quality and they are, uh, they're still just not these to me. So that's enough for me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.